Hey all you kiters out there, this is Aaron at Kite Paddle Surf. I'm excited to show you the Slingshot Century V1 control bar. Show you all the neat features they've packed into this awesome bar. And why I think this is probably one of the best control bars out there for you kiters out there. So let's tear it apart, check it out. Here we go. Okay, so starting off, let's talk about this uh, bar. It comes with a great bag. I actually really like this handbag. A lot of bags that have come with other bars, they still don't seem very good use to me. So I really like this bar because it just keeps everything nice and tidy and clean. So when I'm traveling, you can just tuck it in there and it's a mesh bench in here so it can get all the moisture out of your bar and it doesn't stay inside the bag. So let's undo the lines and uh, let's go through this bar. All right, so we got the Slingshot Sentry bar all rigged out here, ready to go. And uh, first thing you're gonna notice right away is that they have finally ditched the rope system they've had here here down the center and they've gone to the PU tubes here which is great for your hands so much more comfortable sliding that PU tube instead of that rope it makes kiting a lot more enjoyable so we're gonna start our way from the front of the barn just kind of work our way back so starting off here uh, as always slingshot uses probably the best lines out on the market today 800 pound in the center 500 pound on the outside these lines are gonna last forever. They're super strong, incredibly reliable lines to have for kiting. And then working from there, um, obviously they have the above the bar clamp cleat system here. Very smooth action, very easy to make the adjustments that you need to to um, trim your kite. Uh, and then from the clamp cleat down, like I spoke of earlier, it's got the PU tubes. And from the PU tube here, it goes into the swivel. And from that swivel, it will allow you to auto rotate the kite lines. So when you go to set up your kite, you always wanna make sure your center lines are not tangled. And then while you're kiting by doing loops or you're doing uh, back rolls or whatever you're doing, the kite, every time when you pull the bar in, it will auto swivel for itself. So you don't have to do that above the bar um, manual swiveling yourself, which is really cool. Uh, jumping back out of the outside, they have these really nice, comfortable, soft floats that are very effective. They float really well in the water. It keeps your uh, bar up on top of the water. So when you pull the safety, they're gonna be there for you to hold that bar up, which is nice. Uh, built into those is these um, um, line holders right here and very effective line holders because they're out of your way when you're kiting and they're strong enough to hold all your lines there to keep them all nice and tidy. Uh, moving on from there, the bar ends right here are very soft. Um, so hitting yourself, board, whatever it is, it's not gonna do any damage, which is super nice. Um, another huge change for Slingshot, apart from the tubing, is their um, grips. Their grips always in the past have always been pretty aggressive, pretty hard rubber. Um, some people like them, a lot of people like myself didn't really like them. But what was nice about them is they just lasted for a long time. Well, this is sweet because these are really, um, I would say very soft, not quite plush, but this bar has almost been used for a year now. I've been using this bar that long. And as you can see on this bar, there is literally zero wear on it. It looks pretty much like it did almost a year ago, which is amazing. So really excited about that. Bar is amazing. Um, like I talked about earlier, you have this auto swiveling here been used for I've been using it for a year I rinse it out every time I go out in the salt water and it still works perfectly no hesitation there um, now moving on to the chicken loop now this has become more and more of a standard with kite bar companies and that is just the release and then being able to just click it in and that's it there's no holding anything there's no fancy hand work you got to do see that you pull it and then click it back in that's it that's all there is that's all there is to it another question we get asked in the shop is a lot and i don't know if you can see this or not but there's these uh, bearing balls right here and it looks like there's like two or three missing but that's just the way they designed it there's no flaw in it we get that asked a lot whether there is a defect in their bar or not that's just the way it's designed and then with your leash attachment here it comes with this free ride leash um, everybody now is using uh, shorter leashes just because we're not doing the whole unhooked tannel pass for a majority of kiters. So this leash that comes with the bar is really nice, clean, simple, attach right there. You can also do the suicide through the chicken loop there if you want to. Um, the donkey stick right here, and then um, I don't have it set up on mine because I have a um, rope system, but for the spreader bar, you can slide that through and it keeps it on your spreader bar. So um, there it is. I'll do it one more time, show you guys how easy it is like that. Boom, you're done, it's that easy. 
So I'm gonna talk about some of the, why I think this is one of the best bars out there. And I know a lot of the guys on the Slingshot team have talked about this and I think it's so true, is that it's such a minimal bar and there's so little clutter and it just allows you to kite without having anything extra that you don't need or have to worry about or maintaining. And it is incredibly effective at what it does. And it works every single time. Safety works every time. The way it feels in your hand, hours on the water. It's totally comfortable. These line winders, they're in a one year use and they still work great. Um, the trim system here works perfect. Uh, the lines are in great condition and they've held up to a year of use. So overall, this bar has been tested rigorously for a long time and it literally looks like it just came out of the bag, which I think proves to make it one of the best bars out there and I'm really excited about it. We teach a lot of people on this bar and they're comfortable using it and you can pick it out in three different sizes. This is the 17 inch with 20 meter lines. There is also the 20 inch bar that comes with 20 meter and three meter extensions. And then the final one is 23 uh, inch bar with 27 inch lines, or sorry, 27 meter lines. So there's a bar for um, whatever type of size of kite you wanna ride. Um, my recommendation for you is this, if you plan on kite foiling and you're not riding the largest kites, I know the trend in kiting is definitely going towards smaller kites. I would definitely consider this 17 inch bar with the 20 meter lines. It's gonna give you better response on the kite. It's also going to, it, when, you, when you hold a smaller bar, I feel like it um, keeps the bar from twitching or moving the kite faster than you want it to. Now sometimes you do want to move that kite a little bit faster, maybe in lighter winds and you need to like stroke the kite up and down to build that power. So I get it with bigger bars. But uh, think about maybe trying a smaller bar than maybe you were taught on or maybe that you've had for a while and you may be surprised and you might really like it a lot. So there it is. There's the Century V1 by Slingshot. It's an incredibly rad bar. Um, super excited on it. Can't say enough great things about it. So um, if you have any questions, um, leave any comments and uh, give us a call at the shop. We can answer them for you. Thanks you guys for checking out this review. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.